Hey ladies, we're ready to begin our second week in our study of the book of Jude. Uh, and last week we learned who the author was and we know that that was Jesus' half-brother Jude and that Jude considers himself a slave for Jesus Christ. He reminded those believers that they were called, that they were beloved, and that they were kept. And then last week he said, you know, I really wanted to write a letter to you that, you know, about the common salvation hat that we all have in Christ. But instead, I feel it's necessary for you to contend for your faith because there are apostates in your churches. There are false teachers and false doctrines. And so he wants to teach them how to contend for their faith when, because it's gonna be necessary in the times in which we live. And we know that the longer we live, the more this will be on the increase. And so if you have your copy of scripture today, we really are gonna talk about rebellion and judgment rebellion and judgment and we're not going to just go on what we think about those things you know what is what what is rebellion and what is god's judgment and i want to just have my own take on that you don't get to do that and we need to understand that that jude here doesn't say this is my opinion about rebellion and judgment he goes back to old testament scripture once again what we believe is based out of scripture and if we don't base what we believe out of scripture then we are on sinking sand and so jude is not he's going to teach them to contend using the scripture and so if you have your uh, bible on you i'm going to pick up in verse five and this is what it says now i desire to remind you though you know all things once for all that the lord after saving a people out of the land of Egypt, subsequently destroyed those who did not believe. And so Jude wants to remind them of three different Old Testament real life occurrences. And so the first one he wants to remind them about is the rebellion of the Israelites after they came out of Egypt. And so we know, and I'm going to leave these references so you can go back and read these Old Testament stories. I'll leave those in the comments. But we know that, you know, God led them across on dry land, part of the Red Sea, did miracles, you know, put clouds in the sky so they would know how to follow him. He led them through the wilderness. We know that he provided everything they needed, that their shoes didn't even wear out. Like God did all these things. But still, when they got to the end and they were ready to go in and they sent in the spies with Joshua and Caleb, remember they came back and they were all scared and they wouldn't go in. And so only the courageous ones Joshua and Caleb would actually be the only men that would get to go into the promised land because the rest of them, their rebellion was unbelief. They didn't believe God. And so that's the first example that Jude gives us. Let's look at the second example in verse 6. And angels who did not keep their own dominion but abandoned their proper abode, he has kept in eternal bonds under darkness for the judgment of the great day. And so the second rebellion that he talks about is that of the angels. That of those created beings. And, you know, what are they guilty of? They're guilty of rebelling against God's boundaries for them. And so we know that that's what Satan, Satan was an angel and he rebelled against God. And that's why God cast him out. And here he goes back to really most commentators say Genesis chapter 6 and talks about how the angels didn't keep the boundaries in which God gave them. And because of that, they are judged and they will be eternally judged for their open rebellion against God's boundaries for them. And then the, the last uh, example he's going to give us is that of Sodom and Gomorrah. So this is what verse 7 says. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them, since they in the same way as these indulged in gross immorality and went after strange flesh, are exhibited as an example in undergoing the punishment of eternal fire. And so the last Old Testament example he gives is that of Sodom and Gomorrah. And we know that primarily we know we categorize uh, the, the rebellion and the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah as sexual sin. They rebelled against what God said about sex. They were, they were immoral. It says they went after strange flesh. It was gross immorality. And so we know that that was them not going by the sexual boundaries. They rebelled against what God said about sex. And he means about the boundaries for heterosexual sex. And homosexuality is clearly here. Uh, I was reading... Uh, it, that Sodom and Gomorrah is actually referenced 26 times in scripture. 
And so, you know, you have to, it's just what it says, that, you know, this kind of gross immorality, this sexual immorality will be judged. And not only will they be, each one of these examples, will they be judged, but they will be, have eternal fiery consequences. And so, you know, uh, Jude reminds them, you know, when you have to contend for your faith, you're going to have to stand on Scripture. You're going to have to know what the Bible says. And so he gives them these three Old Testament examples. And when we end the video today, I do want to remind you that Psalm 19.9 says that God is a righteous judge. That I know we don't like talking about it, but when you're contending for your faith, you may have to contend for that God is a righteous judge. And the other thing, again, we see it here. What did they rebel against? They were re 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 rebelled against God's boundaries, God's word. They went against. They shook their fist at a holy God. And God says, when you rebel against me, whether it's unbelief, whether it's not keeping the boundaries, or whether it's sexual sin, I, it will be judged if you don't repent. And so it's important to always go back when you're ready to contend for your faith to what scripture says, no matter how unpopular, no matter how much the society goes against it and how unpopular you become for reminding people that are perishing, that are in rebellion, that God is a righteous judge and that our choices here on this planet have eternal fiery consequences if we don't repent.